hey hi good morning everyone so today we're going to see the ansible very first command of ansible and we're going to take the baby step for the ansible coding so what is the you you supposed to first download the ansible setup we will going to explore the first setup how we have to do basic setup of ansible and uh, we can start learning with the ansible modules and other features so we have already i have announced in classroom you can switch on your vm that part and first thing and download the your pdf so both supposed to be handy now so what is ansible ansible written into the python they don't have their own compiler they use the python interpreter or compiler okay so ansible having something called module which actual do the real work there's something called module so module going to compile those things on the python interpreter okay clear this is open source under the gpl license there is other license like mit license gp under gpl license this is open source so open source means it can be used anywhere any okay so we'll come on the open source later first they have interpreter as a python and the open source second point there is a one control node and many manage node manage node could be your network device or maybe your servers network device like router switches firewall f5 load balancers anything related to network which can operate or control in the network operating system this is called manage nodes on manage nodes going to be maintained as an inventory so all the manage node comes under the inventory so inventory contain the manage node under the manage node maybe your network devices or maybe you have servers so if you remember we have first contain pdf i have already said you the topology everyone open that topology so i have already said use topology if you go for automation the topology which is share and do you remember the, the topology where we have topology i have to download from where do i kept topology and the pictures i have so do we have topology network automation or oh, no topology where is rack topology okay we have rack ansible topology this is the topology do you remember i have already shared you with this topology so this topology having this is called network manage node this is the manage node this is a network device this is the server this is called another manage node so manage node could be the your network cis or your server cis and this is the control one control system okay that's the same thing what we have here so one control node where the we going to install the ansible and remaining all our manage node now ansible is your it automation tool this is a fantastic automation tool that's going to configure the system deploy the software and orchestrate more advanced it task not only task task having multiple tasks sub task and they going to automate complete day to day deployment what you do the or production hour or weekend for the and that going to be zero touch time means network engineer not going to touch your infra network infra who going to touch the automation tool going to touch 
so your network going to be highly sanitized okay and zero time rollback uh, this all kind of activity what you going to able to do you can do by the automation that is possible now so any new thing like ansible do we need infrastructure extra infrastructure no we can use the existing infrastructure so here every organization if you see any organization they have out of band connectivity do you heard about out of band connectivity yes. are you comfortable you know everyone working here yes. so we yes yes ob connectivity so out of band connectivity is dedicated you have existing infrastructure in every organization for the console for the your vty everything you want to manage with the any control any manage node or any um, anything anything you want to manage by sitting in the you have centralized access system authorized system you have existing infrastructure that existing infrastructure used by the ansible so ansible is using as a transport open ssh so this feature makes the ansible highly acceptable consumable because we don't need to set up any new infrastructure already we have set up infrastructure out of band and we are using the open ssh right you are not using the telnet you are using the open ssh and the, as a transport ansible use the open ssh so we are going to use the existing infrastructure already running in our production that's the open ssh so this feature makes this highly consumable no cost just you set up with the one control node that's done and use the existing infrastructure for transporting of ansible now second is the agentless this is a wonderful feature this agentless behavior what do you mean by agentless means for managed node there is nothing i should install there is nothing we supposed to install anything we should not going to install anything on the on the managed node only the installation going to be happened on the control node that's all means no extra efforts but there is a specific module due to that this feature is enabled in ansible which is make ansible is unique and different from other automation um, tool like puppet puppet is another tool there is uh, so many other tool but they need they are agent full means to which node you want to control manage node need to install some kind of application but in routing and switching we should not install anything and we are able to manage those without installing anything that's make ansible more available or more consumable consumable okay agentless we will see this is this feature due to the something called raw module we will discuss in detail what is raw module so due to that this become nothing to install in that but you have agent full behavior also in ansible okay we will see that is the default behavior ansible is decentralized of course this is decentralized you just install on the single laptop or desktop or any control machine you connect with your network and connect with your centralized system like uh, any uh, kubernetes or ldef or any centralized or techas server or any radius server you can connect with the any centralized system by sitting anywhere in network but you have access of that so this is a decentralized means you can shut up in one system you can connect anyone and connect with the centralized system and you can connect with the entire infrastructure okay this is beautiful behavior 
now this is the actual to so this five thing it's um, on python it's run as the python interpreter is a open source they have one control node many may manage node and they are used the open ssh as a transport this is agent less manner this is decentralized and connect with the central uh, any centralized system like l depth the cache radius any authentication centralized system so clear till here this is five feature apart from that there is something called major release having it ansible having release of every year twice a year and there is um, uh, ansible fast you can join that and you can get the all the information there's lots of study material and other stuffs available apart from that if you want to study ansible in detail or we're going to practice using that is called doc everyone can browse this doc d-o-c-s docs docs ansible.com okay this is documentation of ansible i'm also personally going to prefer this you also for follow this because the, all the advanced update going to be come here and you follow this this is the most accurate information and tested information announced over here okay guys so let's understand next part come to till here any questions let have pause let me ask you did you hear about ansible yes this is this did you hear so what are the five things yep. let's revise first is the python interpreter ansible use python it's a open standard having single control mode control node that's the installed ansible and many many manage node manage node could be the router or switch is any network device or any what your linux server or any kind of server third that's the decentralized you can install you can sit anywhere and connect with the centralized system like techas radius or ldap for authenticate so these are and they that's the very most important two point you're supposed to say for ansible that is the transport as a transport they use open ssh and next is what that agent list i should only. not install anything on the network yes portions um, yeah I'm good, I'm good. okay thank you so let's move the first command how to install this i have already discussed about this and that's you want to practice for installation you can go with this there's a command given the installation how to install so sudo apt update then followed by the software property comments then go with the apt repository followed by the ncl ansible ppa okay then update your cache then install final go for ansible this is a five step you follow it you can practice on the another operating system i have already given you the with the complete installation with the linux mint automation box okay so everyone on this box please open this box okay and please do this activity i want to be comfortable you guys from here so i'm going to open my gns today so let's open the gns everyone please open with me you switch on your virtual box open this the gns and go with the very first three cisco router linux gns3 the topology which is i already installed and switch on your router are you sure you want to start all device yes and 
click the console you can see here the console symbol and all three consoles going to pop up on the screen let's the gns comes up meanwhile we will go back to our dot bin so my gns is on okay everyone guys yes it is okay so meanwhile you are doing so first command any command you are writing the first keyword you should start with the keywords something called ansible first keyword ansible and do the question mark this says that this app is installed or not installed oh so sorry uh, I'm wrong just you do the tab it will give you the argument features just you do the tab and enter it will give you the argument features and we're going to use all these features in upcoming classes and we will understand by doing the lab and we will comfortable so please be with me we're going to enjoy today what we're going to use so I have used first one that is called hyphen hyphen version this is the long form and you can do the short form also followed by the single dash let's do that and civil followed by the single dash yes. oops that's not giving what happened it's a use person as give output and the single one maybe this is capital no okay um that's given the option but it's not i i think this is i need to update that but you i follow the longest form here that's working generally we practice with this but there's an option with the short form also okay however i'm using this so first command any command you going to type just follow with the ansible keyword comfortable now after ansible keyword something called list host can you see this your inventory ansible if you see this topology guys let me show you this topology first if you see this topology this is the control machine where the ansible is running and these are the manage node where I supposed to control from the Ansible. So what is the first thing do you need for Ansible? You need the inventory to whom you want to control. So I want to control these routers, switches and the server. So they are the inventory. They are the inventory. Okay guys. So who are the inventory? The inventory are your system. So right now, I will not thinking about the inventory. I will test this Ansible as an inventory myself. If I am telling you, I have to test for myself. So who is the myself here? Oh, Linux. Local host. Excellent. Is the local host? Who is the? local host to so local host going to be inventory so how you will check who is the local host always you remember local host is your the loopback address the loopback address 127.0.0.1 this is as those how do i check this address is belong to my local host 
so you, there is a multiple way because the you can go with the if config and you can see there is a loop back there's a loop back come with the 127 0.0.1 okay and the second it's so belong to my local host so there is command called cat I'm going to see that etc then you can follow the host and you can see that your local host is belong to 127.0.0.1 okay I told you when I took the CCNA class, I I already announced that your loopback testing is very important. While we will teach you the automation, do you remember Sago? We yes, had sir. dedicated loopback classes, loopback tested classes. Okay, so here, so loopback one twenty seven zero dot zero anything you install like networking which control the networking model is supposed to be pass on yourself first means loopback testing for ansible supposed to pass so let's do the loopback testing i will do ansible i will give the inventory where you want to to whom you want to test so either i will use the this local host as a keyword or the ip address first i will use the ip address it's a more IP address that's called inventory I pass the inventory and something called module so let's understand what is module actually in Ansible who is the actual hero in the Ansible that is a module let me draw understand the module module is nothing module is real power contained within the module module it developed by the vendor this module going to work everything means you going to pass your inventory here what is inventory inventory may be router or switch yourself here here is what is here here yourself is a loop back you pass your inventory and the argument argument what command line argument I told you command line arguments what what you want to do like so in swipe interface brief so IP interface so IP interface brief is your one argument could be or let me give you more easy easy date it is your one argument is your command what you pass that's your argument so you will pass your inventory you pass your argument and the third that's a, for network you have to pass your authentication pass your authentication everything it's going to be validated by the modules validated by the modules and integrate with the module and then it will process with the python compiler process with the comp python compiler and give you the desire output so who is the real hero module is a real hero module so it accept your inventory accept your argument accept the authentication then process with the with the whom is communicate with the python interpreter process it then give you the desired output so let's understand in the small baby step we will take today so here so my what is the inventory this is the inventory who is the my module module going to be ping we are going to take the very small module that is called ping ping pong actually this is give you the ping pong response we will see that so my module am for the module i'm not going to give any argument today i just i want to know, will give in the couple of time later on but on this command i will give only the module what about authentication because we have discussed about the five meters 
on this command i have just given the inventory there is no argument no authentication why no no authentication because we are testing for them myself i should not need any authentication for myself if i am going to do something in network then only i need to authenticate right okay let's test this i enter is a process a success that's a result ping pong can you see the result ping pong ping is a key pong is a value can you do this activity please do this activity i will not give you opportunity later on doing code because your the code going to be harder harder and harder comfortable guys till here yes okay so i have done astos can i use them local host instead of ip yes absolute i can use that local host in, instead of the loop back ip because this is their dns resolution domain name resolution but you should not do the you should not do the what spelling mistakes so i'm going to test of course it's going to be so you can see the change is false means there is no changing i guess i'm not doing anything changing i'm just do the ping okay but as those if i will ping to my my router i can do that let's see i can able to do that or not i can do that or not so my router my first i will ping my router i will check so my router is 192.168.122. you have to remember the topology what is the ip of router r1 this is the ip guys this is the ip from r1 this is the you see so ip interface brief i'm not going to teach you this because i already explained you topology according to topology you have to understand r1 having this and r1 host name having what i o u1 this is called i o u1 that's a pingable from my control node and from its my control node is pingable what is the control node ip 192.168.122.1 this is the gateway here you can see that ip is if config i will check you can see the ip 192.168.122.1 yes here this is my this is i'm the gateway so i'm able to ping my all three router one so what is the ip let me create the screen so that you are able to see that 192.168.122.10 ping this so this is pingable 10 is pingable 20 is pingable second router because all are on and 30 is pingable okay so now tell me ansible supposed to able to ping or not chagar nickel it will if it is part of inventory okay let's see that so we will understand the baby step today so i will write the host name or ip i will follow with the ip so there is no inventory host name inventory is there 192.168.122. Dot. What? Dot. What? Can anyone? I want to ping that. I'm not pinging myself. Just I hit and see that what going to be happening. Wow! There is an error. And civil is not able to ping. Let's understand this error because guys. We are not going to study the code here. We supposed to understand and comfortable with the error. While we're getting error, we supposed to hundred percent understand with the error and able to troubleshoot those errors. Then only 
you're going to enjoy the this ansible now first a warning provided host list is empty there is no host list oh there is no host list there is inventory okay we will work on that only the local host is available that's is telling in my by default local host is available in my inventory that's all note that implicit local host does not match all we'll come to on that part what do you mean by this once i will create the inventory so there is some inventory that's empty and in that inventory by default local host is there so by default i can test and civil for the local host i cannot test ah. so let's do the inventory first steps what is second warning second warning says that could not match supplied host pattern and ignoring this there's two things there is no host pattern supplied okay let's first provide the host list let's check it out how do i check the host list is empty or not the command is ansible and enter so you no need to remember can you see this list followed by the single dash host okay let's go with the list single host host and go for all so you can see that your error is for the empty local host you can see there is no local host mentioned here host equal to zero they given okay means you have to give something here so suppose I want to check my this host I will give for 122.10 this is mine zero host or I want to check anything available in that so I will use all keyword this is nothing but only the local host is available note that the implicit local host does not match all you do match all inside that you will not see as a local host as a part of that Did here understand till here comfortable let's put the our inventory let's build our inventory so as those before knowing the inventory how many type of inventory do we have so we have two inventory here first system inventory second ansible inventory what do you mean by the system inventory let's explore about so we are talking about two inventory let me go for the name i will share you this as a pdf there is two inventory inventory having two part first part having system inventory is maintained by the system your control system second inventory that for dedicated for okay let's understand one by one and we will do the lab for the for both the invent then we will take another big step for, toward the end so what do you mean by system inventory system inventory is nothing this is used for your system to know who is the system your local host your local host what is the benefit of our doing that as those you can do dns resolution name resolution means you can do your inventory and do the host resolution let's do the lab let's do the lab right now i'm able to ping i'm able to ping router one or by not their name by the ip the system inventory if we will de develop the system inventory we are able to uh, go to 
so i'm working on the system inventory right now i'm not working on the what called what is called ansible inventory so how do i check the ansible inventory how do i check the system inventory system inventory something called i can see my view the my file cat followed by the etc followed by the host this is called system inventory this is called system inventory okay what is the ansible inventory we have to follow etc ansible then you follow the host this is called what is ansible inventory this is the ansible inventory so we have two file first this second by using the ansible slash host clear till here so we have two inventory so i am working with the first system inventory cat beer so right now i am able to ping 192.168.122.10 then 20 then 30 but i want to ping as a host name so let's create the host name for everyone so how it's going to be very easy go to config t host name this is o u i so i will do host name r1 and do write same way i will go for this then config t go for host name r2 and do write so i'm changing the host name very 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 small thing i'm doing right now i'm not doing anything that you are not going to understand that just i'm changing the host name that's a r3 so i have changed the all the host name as it now I want to ping with the like R1. I'm able to ping name or server not known. Okay, means we have to build up our inventory. So we have to create this inventory, etc host system inventory. How we will do that? So let's we use the Veeam. We're going to edit this file. So that's the sudo Veeam and follow the etc class posts they will ask you the privilege now you press i as a insert mode and then do your inventory define your inventory so it's very simple what are the inventory do we have i will comment out and i will tell this is Ansible Automation Lab. Okay, just I given the comment. Okay, so that anything who anyone going to refer this, this is used for the Ansible. So what is my IP? First 192.168.122.10. This is my first IP, and I will give the R1 inventory. 192.168.122.20 be remember this inventory already build existing inventory in any infrastructure we should not create this because we we are doing this lab environment so we have to create but in existing production environment this in they have dedicated dns okay no need to do yourself you have to integrate yourself to the dns but here we are doing the manually locally okay clear guys now i'm going to escape with the insert mode and i'm going to write quit then follow me so let's check your inventory let's check your inventory so we have that 
etc followed by the host i can see this inventory is there now i'm able to ping or not let's ping r1 wow i'm able to ping r1 i'm able to ping r2 i'm able to ping r3 comfortable understand the system inventory guys yes yes thank you now come to the ansible inventory still we don't have inventory in ansible this is the part of the system inventory come to the ansible inventory before going ansible inventory you have to understand by default what are the component and elements do you have in ansible so how do you view just create the so that your terminal is clear now let me do the more Alice, let me list out first what are the element do we have and in, in what in the ansible file etc ansible okay this is the file i want to list in within the ansible what are the elements do we have so we have three elements first ansible com file second inventory file third roles okay till here clear guys we have roles so we have three inventory uh, sorry three element ansible conf ansible host today we will concentrate on the inventory file host file so so cat etc ansible we're going to explore the host file this is my host file and all are commented out there's nothing active this all comments there's no meaning only the informative so let's create our inventory so it's very easy same way we have to do sudo beam and then we have to go for ansible or with the posts okay so i'm going at the i'm not going to remove anything i'm going to add here so go for insert mode pressing as a i and then give the comments what are you going to do the lab on automation lab on automation okay let's understand the comment here we will create the inventory here so there's a pattern to create how you going to create you have to use that's called listing class you have to decreate the class the declaration of class so sorry now declaration of classes you have to follow this square bracket and declare your class and this class going to be recognized by the ansible so suppose i want to declare class as a router this is class as a router so whenever you will use router as a keyword they would refer to follow the inventory so like i will give the inventory 192.168.122. and followed by the all inventory let's do it what i want to say so router as a class going to be globally declared for entire inventory so i'm going here so i will give the the square bracket followed by the my class routers and then i will create my inventory 192.168.1.22.10 is my first inventory second inventory 192.168.122.20 is the second inventory and 192.168.122.30 is my third inventory now i'm going to close this by escaping escape 
followed with the right quit and we are here so let's see the inventory so this is router inventory we have test it out whether it's really coming so the testing is ansible lists hosts all you can see you have three inventory and you see that guys everyone yes okay now as those i can add inventories or not yes you can add if you want for server you want to add inventory or anything you want to add inventory we will do in the next upcoming classes all the inventory mm, addition of inventory but this is a baby step first step to create the small inventory let's test it out whether uh, after making the inventory it's working or not so i have mentioned the inventory i already given the inventory so it's a list it this ip is listed into the inventory ansible inventory now it's supposed to work thing it's supposed to work or not tell me guys it's supposed to work or not it should work it should work it depends on uh, i don't know i think it still needs yeah. credential for your windows okay so i'm going to enter the hit and you will see something is happened there is a something they asked for the ssh i told yes and see wow something error see guys i have to work we supposed to develop the thing step by step i just want to show you what are the what are the challenges you will face while you will set up the now there is something pass sss transport they are using i told you this is open ssh they used they pass that but they are telling that fail to connect to the ssh means the router supposed to run with the ssh in the real infrastructure every router having ssh means router supposed to configure with the ssh access it's supposed to be accessible through the rsa ssh so we will do this part on the upcoming class okay we will configure the each and every router with the ssh then we'll be able to do okay astos can i test for the server so in next upcoming class uh, let me test for the server so i will switch on the some server let me switch on these servers and couple of server i uh, i switch on all four system or server okay let's switch meanwhile i will create the inventory file for the server because inventory file is not developed for the server so what i will do i will go for inventory file because i don't have inventory file for the server okay so let's go create the inventory file for the server okay i'm going to stop here for this video and i'm going to continue in the next class because time not time is up we will connect in next class and we will see how to create the host name inventory and then we will resolve the routing switching how we can connect and what the more challenge is going to be come in the next upcoming classes and we will going to resolve each and every challenge step by step and we will understand that so bye bye see you in next class from same point we going to continue